Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. It's that time of year again where you probably have too many zucchinis lying around in your refrigerator. Today's recipe is going to fix that. I'll be making my easy zucchini blueberry sheet cake with blueberry cream cheese frosting. This cake is so quick and easy to make and it's perfect for end of summer. And now if you've never had a zucchini cake before, you're totally missing out. You don't actually taste the zucchini, but it really transforms the cake, adds so much incredible moisture and it makes it irresistibly delicious. We're gonna start out with a simple cake batter, fold in the blueberries, add in that grated zucchini, and then I like to finish this with a cream cheese whipped cream frosting. I add a little bit of blueberry preserves to add even more berry flavor. You guys are going to love this for any occasion. It's just such a quick and easy and delicious recipe. For the full list of ingredients and the print printable instructions, head on down into that video description box and follow the link over to my website. I also have this recipe with metric measurements on my site. Meanwhile, let's get started on this incredible cake. Before I get started my cake batter, I need to prep my zucchinis. Today, oops, <laughs> today I'm going to be using two small zucchinis or you can use one medium size. I'm going to line my mixing bowl with a cheesecloth. We need to grate the zucchini and then let it sit for about 15 minutes and squeeze out as much liquid as you can so you have like a dry grated zucchini for the cake. <laughs> We'll want about two, two and a half cups of grated zucchini. I'm just going to tie this up and let this stand for a good 15 minutes. And now onto our cake batter. We're going to come back to the zucchini a little bit later. I have three quarter cups of unsalted softened butter. I just cut this into chunks, let it sit for about 30 minutes. I'm going to add in one cup of white granulated sugar. I'm gonna grab my hand mixer. You can also use a stand mix for this recipe and beat the sugar and the butter together for about three to four minutes until it's light and fluffy and creamy. Next, we're going to need four large eggs. You wanna make sure that these are at room temperature. That will ensure that the cake bakes evenly. We'll drop in the eggs and give this a mix until the eggs are well beaten. Next, I'll add in one cup of Greek yogurt and you wanna go for the richer, fattier variety, not like the fat-free type. And we'll add in two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Give this all a quick mix. Onto our dry ingredients, I have two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. I'm going to add in two teaspoons of baking soda. That's going to react with that Greek yogurt and make the cake extra fluffy. Two teaspoons of baking powder and half a teaspoon of salt. Give that a quick mix. I like to use a fine mesh strainer like this one and I'm going to sift the dry ingredients into my cake batter just to ensure I don't get any clumps of anything. And then use your mixer on a low setting to combine the wet and dry ingredients together just until a creamy batter forms. All right, next up are blueberries. I've measured out four cups of blueberries. I'm going to dust these with about two teaspoons of cornstarch or two tablespoons of cornstarch. This will help the blueberry juices to kind of form a jam in the cake as the cake bakes. We'll toss them in the cornstarch. Also helps kind of suspend the berries in the batter. I'm going to add about a third of my berries into the batter. We're gonna fold those in. And the other two thirds I'm going to add as I assemble my cake. So I like to add some kind of in between and then on top as well. Back to our zucchini. Kind of want to massage and wring out as much of the liquid as you can from the zucchini. And then we're going to fold it into the cake batter. And again, you're not going to actually taste like zucchini. Actually, zucchini by itself is pretty tasteless unless you season it with like salt and pepper and some herbs and spices. Um, but it's a great way to add incredible moisture to any cake. Let's add in that zucchini and we'll fold it in. I 
I've lined a 9 by 13 inch brownie pan today with some parchment paper. You can also just simply spray down the sides with a nonstick baking spray. I'm going to start by spooning in my cake batter. Oh, make sure that parchment paper stays in place. Now spread that batter evenly to the edges. Add more blueberries. We're gonna save a little bit for the top as well. And add the remaining blueberries on top. You'll want to bake this blueberry zucchini cake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 40 to 45 minutes or until a toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean. Once it's done baking, you'll want to let it rest in the pan for about 5 to 7 minutes and then transfer onto a wire rack to cool completely. While this is cooling, go ahead and take your cream cheese out of the refrigerator and let it soften at room temperature to make that cream cheese frosting. For my frosting, I've softened 12 ounces or one and a half bricks of cream cheese. I'm going to grab my mixer and just cream it for a few minutes until it's nice and smooth. Next, we're going to add in one cup of confectioner's sugar and one teaspoon of vanilla extract or vanilla bean paste. I really like this vanilla bean paste. It just makes the frosting extra special. Drop that in and then we'll combine that together. I'll measure out one and a half cups of chilled heavy cream and I keep it in the fridge until the very last moment. You want it to be really nice and cold, that way it'll whisk nicely. If your frosting is just super soft and doesn't want to reach stiff peak stage, just place it in the fridge and chill it for a little bit. Then I'll combine the cream cheese and the heavy cream until stiff peaks form. You always want to start out in the slow speed so that cream doesn't go flying everywhere. And the last ingredient we need for today is half a cup of blueberry preserves. Drop those in. This can add lots of great berry flavor. You want to make sure you add these at the very end and then mix them in. This frosting is just so luscious and creamy. I'm not going to mix all the blueberry in completely. Give it that little swirled effect. All right, make sure your cake is completely cooled. Otherwise, it's going to melt this frosting. Spread it over the top. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Add some extra blueberries on top. All right, let's cut into this gorgeous cake. I just love a good simple cake like this. You can eat it right away or you can let it sit in the fridge for that frosting to set up a little bit. Now this is one amazing cake. And that's how you make an amazing zucchini blueberry cake. For the full list of ingredients and the written instructions, head on down into that video description box and hop over to my website. I'm gonna have everything online there for you guys, plus the recipe with metric measurements. This turned out so incredible. I love the simplicity, it comes together so quickly. And this frosting, oh my goodness, I was eating all the leftovers just by the spoonful. It is a heavenly addition to this cake. And I also want to point out that you can't even really notice the zucchini in there, but you're going to notice the amount of moisture that it adds into the cake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Okay, cake this good should be illegal. It is so incredibly delicious. That frosting is just light as a cloud combined with the cake. So incredibly moist, dotted with delicious blueberries. You guys, run, don't walk, run to your grocery store, get the ingredients and make this today. So good. Mm. 
Mm. <laughs> well, I guess there goes my diet for today because I'm going to eat this whole slice. It's so good. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. And you guys know I make a lot of cakes, so it's hard to impress me, but this one just blows it out of the water. The combination of flavors and textures, and it's just super easy to make. It's going to be an instant hit. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up and a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching my latest episode and I'll see you next time with a new recipe.